Parshas Noyach, Tav Shinayim Dalet, we're beginning, believe it or not, our fifth year of Shiurim, which is incredible. There's a... Uh, the way time flies, we now have basically almost four complete years of shiurim um, at the Southside Sandwich Shop, and we're beginning our fifth year. However, tonight, um, Baruch Hashem, due to a simcha, I'm not going to make it to the uh, to the actual location, so we're doing uh, a remote location tonight. This week's parsha, Parsha Noach, of course, is famous for speaking about the Mabel. And we've spent actually a couple of years discussing the Mabel. So this year we're going to move to the end of the Parsha and we're going to talk a little bit about the Dor HaFloga. The Pasuk says near the end of the Parsha, Vayered Hashem Lirois, that Akash Baruch Hu came down to see Esoir, the city, the Esamigdo, which we translate as a tower that all these people got together and wanted to build, Asher Banu Bnei Ha'adam, Vayoymer Hashem Hein Am Echod, they seem as if they're one nation, Vesofa Achas, they all speak the same language, Lekulam, to all of them. And then the, the Torah goes on and says that a Kodesh Baruch Hu, Yafet Hashem decided that he's going to spread them all out, he's going to scatter them throughout the world. Misham al Pnei Kol Kodesh Baruch Hu scattered all the people around. The first question the Nesiva Sholem asks on this episode, on these Psukim in the Torah, in Parshas Noyach, is we need to first understand why at every step of the way in the Psukim here, the Torah says a Lushen of Havaya. The Torah says, Vayered Hashem, a Lushen Havaya, Vayomer Hashem, another Lushen Havaya, Vayofetz Hashem, another Lushen Havaya, if Havaya denotes Chesed, denotes Midas HaChesed. Why would we use in such a case Midas HaChesed. Why wouldn't we use the same Lushen which we use by the Mabul, which is a Lushen of Elikim? Elikim means Gevura, Midas Hadin. I would think that that's what we should use. And by the, by, by the Mabul, if you look at the beginning of the Parsha, Etake does use Elikim. Midas Hadin, if they're doing something wrong. So really we need to understand, Zot Nesiv Shalom, something about the Dor HaFloga. We need to understand something about these people. In other words, really, if you think about it, what exactly did these people do wrong in the Dora Flaga? Really? They didn't do much wrong. It seems in the Torah that they just, they wanted to get together to accomplish something, to build something. Right? They, it doesn't seem, the Torah doesn't tell us they did something so wrong. So what did these people do wrong? So the Sina Shalom says, we see something very, very interesting from here we see that there's something obviously very, very strong about people who have the same ideas getting together. We see that from the Torah, by the fact that the Torah writes this Parsha, and Torah puts an emphasis on this, we see that there's something very, very strong about people with the same ideas as these people were getting together. And whether it's for good, or whether it's for the opposite, the capabilities of people that band together and they do something together, it multiplies their capabilities exponentially. And sometimes, Zokhtin Siva Shalom, the power of people that get together is almost, li it's, it's limitless. People can reach far beyond their own individual capabilities. Chazal tell us, the Gemara of Masech the Sanhedrin, Daf Ayin, Ayin Aleph Amin Beis, that pizur lo reshoim, the scattering of reshoim that are together, are hanol hem vanol oilam. That when reshoim are broken apart, when they're scattered, when they're spread apart, it's good for the world. We always want to know what's good for the world, what's bad for the world, right? The Gemara tells us that when reshoim are scattered, it is good for the world. So it seems from this Gemara that just Rishoyim who get together, it doesn't say here people that do bad maizim if you scatter them. No. Rishoyim are gathering. If you break up the gathering, if you break up the group, that is good. Even if we don't know exactly whether they're plotting anything detrimental, whether they're doing anything bad, no. The very fact that they're getting together, if you break them up now, 
That's good for the world. And if, once we know, once the Gemara tells us that that's good for the world, then me the toifa maruba. We know that there's a cloud that me the toifa, it's always much better and much more. And it's even more than that. When good people get together, even if good people get together without a specific agenda, Zakhtar Nesiv Shalom, it's good. It's good for the world. It does something good for the world. So the Dor HaFlaga says in Siva Shalom did not necessarily do an Avera at that time. Nor did they have Kavana maybe to do something so bad. But HaKadosh Baruch Hu saw and knew that when Rishoyim, when bad people get together, something bad is going to be, a, 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 the result of that is not going to be good. Something bad is going to come out of that. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu went and scattered them so they should not be together. Not, not because specifically they were doing anything wrong at that moment. Or that they planned on doing anything wrong. Maybe they were, but at this point we didn't know that. But HaKadosh Baruch Hu knows, and we all, and, and you know what, people actually, I'm sure everybody could think of a time or a place where you saw people getting together, and you think to yourself, this is no good. I don't know what they're up to, and I don't know what they're doing, and I don't even know what they're thinking, but if these people are getting together, something not good is going to come out of it. And we've all met such people, we've all come across such groups, we've all felt this way at times. So the Pesach says, Vayered Hashem, and the Nesiv Shalom explains Pshada, Vayered Hashem, is Vayered Hashem is like Yored L'Soif Daitam, that a Kodesh Baruch who went down to, into the inner thoughts of these people, and he saw what the inner thoughts of these people were. And the result of what a Kodesh Baruch Hu did was not an Oynish. A Kodesh Baruch Hu didn't want them to get there, to get to this point, to get to a point where they could do anything bad. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu did a Maisa Chesed by breaking up this group and making sure that nothing terrible would come out of it to scatter them. So that is really, that could be the reason why the Pasuk uses a Lashon of Havaya. Midas HaChesed. We constantly use the Lashon of Midas HaChesed in these Psukim to tell us that HaKadosh Baruch Hu did a tremendous chesed by not allowing this group to stay together. It was good for them. And, and it was good for the world, as the Gemara said over there. As opposed to the Dora Mabel, the Dora Mabel was totally rooted in Ra. And over there, it's Midas Elikim, Midas HaGvura, Midas HaDin. This says the Nesiva Shalom is an important lesson we need to learn from the Parsha of the Dora Floga. And really, what would it mean to us? Think about it. The Dora Flaga, what happened then happened. Why, a person might think, why is it relevant to us? And why would it be relevant to us what happened to the Dora Flaga? So the Siva Shalom says such an important lesson. The lesson is the Inyan of Achdus and the Koyach of Yidin who work together. The Posik says in Tehillim, and we all know this Posik, He name Atoivum Anoim. Sheves Achim Gam Yochad. And what's the Pasuk telling us? That just the association of people, the association of people who love each other and act as brothers, people that act to each other as brothers, that alone has a profound impact and effect on what they're doing, even if they're not necessarily discussing Yeres Hashem or things of Kedusha, if they haven't gotten yet to discussing and actually doing anything. But when people love each other and get together, that alone gives a Hano to Kodesh Baruch Hu. It makes a small flame. Each person is like a small flame and can only affect a certain amount. But when everybody gets together, it turns it into one big medura. It turns it into one big fire. And that's why so much emphasis has to be put on people getting together in a chabura. People having achdus. People wanting to do things together and getting together to do it. When there are ten people, Chazal tell us, the shechina is there. It doesn't say ten people that are getting together to necessarily do something specific. When ten people are there, just the unification 
of Yidin, of ten Yidin together, that brings Shechina. And that's the greatness that we know a person of Tzila B'Tzibur, Dvorm Shebekdusha, that needed Tzibur. What is a Tzibur? Tzibur is people getting together. When people together get together, it has a profound effect for HaKadosh Baruch Hu. We say in the Shemoyin Esrei, Barcheinu Avinu Kulanu Ke'echad. Zok Din Siva Shalom, a beautiful Pshan in these world words. Through us being Kulanu Ke'echad, from us, don't look at the bad of other people. Be as one. Be good with other people. Get together. Then we bring, if we're Kulanu Ke'echad, we bring the Barcheinu Avinu. The Medrash tells us that the day of Shabbos, we've mentioned this a few times, the day of Shabbos told HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that the day of Shabbos said that she does not have a day to pair with, right? Every day, Sunday and Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, Shabbos was all alone. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to placate the day of Shabbos, he told her, HaKadosh Baruch Hu said, Knesses Yisrael, Yia Ben Zugech. Knesses Yisrael, the gathering of Klai Yisrael, we translate Knesses usually to mean uh, a Knesses, a Knesia, but Knesses Yisrael, the gathering of Yidin, Yiyya Ben Zugech. So Dr. Siva Shalom, we could translate that to mean Knesses Yisrael, the gathering of Yidin on Shabbos in particular. That is the partner of Shabbos. An individual cannot re reach such great heights. You can reach heights. A person could uh, put in the effort and reach unbelievable things. But there's a special Indian of being with other Yidin on the Shabbos. Knesset Yisrael, when Yidin get together on Shabbos, they get together, they get together to learn, to do Dvarim Shabbat Dusha, to Davin, to learn, to, to, to learn Tzivah Shalom, to do all those um, good things on Shabbos. When they get together, that's a special Indian. Knesset Yisrael, Yeben Zugin, when Yidin get together on Shabbos, it has even more of an effect than the rest of the, the, rest of the week. And even though each person individually, we all know that there is no person that doesn't have their shortcoming. And let, and let people sometimes forget that. We're always ready to look at other people's shortcomings. We're always ready to see, oh, the chesreinus of this one and that one. But we don't cut people's slack like we would cut for ourselves. We want other people to cut us slack. But we're not always ready to do it for other people. But even though when people together, we know that every person has their shortcomings, still... Ve'amech kulam tzadikim. Ve'amech kulam. If you're willing to accept everybody with their shortcomings, which what you perceive as their chesreinus, ve'amech kulam, then tzadikim. Then HaKadosh Baruch Hu looks at us that we're all tzadikim. When we're together, we can overcome everything. And how much more so, we say, do we need this, do we have to work on this today? Where the Yetzirah of today, the Yetzirah just wants more period. Period. Separation among friends. Every shul, he wants every shul to split apart. Every yeshiva, he wants every yeshiva to split apart. Every group that's together, that's what the Yetzirah wants. And the soyin of our generation, there's so much tzedakah, there's so much chesed, there's so much Torah, but period, period, the Yetzirah wants that people should not get along, that groups should not get along. How much more so do we have to take this lesson that we see from the Dora Flaga of what it means when... Uh, from there, when bad people get together, me the toy for Maruba, how much it means to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, if we look the other way, now love him, ve'en him, of him, don't answer back, don't say anything, promote achdas, promote unity, promote friendship, if you do that, this is a tremendous chus, and it's something that makes HaKadosh Baruch Hu so happy, it makes HaKadosh Baruch Hu happy that we are together as one family, and we ask HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Baruchenu Avinu, in the schus of that, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, give us a bracha, Kulanu Ke'echad, we're all one, we're all one, Kla Yisrael.